we will see now some examples of finding square roots by the trick method so finding square roots by trick method so we will take a simple example i want to find the square root of 729 now remember what we had done 729 means we have to put a bar on two digits starting from this and one from this now 9 so what are the possible combinations for 9 the possible combinations for 9 is 3 3 are 9 or 7 7 are 49 remember the units place only we are talking so this we don't know this will decide later now take this 7 now 7 lies between which two perfect squares so 4 is a perfect square is less than 7 is 9 is a perfect square so 4 means nothing but 2 square is less than 7 is less than 3 square now we already have the 10th place of the square root ready this is fixed so we always have to take the lower option 2 square means we have to take 2 so this is now for deciding which of 3 or 7 will come we have to take this number and multiply by its successor so what is the successor of 2 3 so 2 3 is a 6 now please compare this product with this number so 6 and 7 obviously 7 is a bigger option this is bigger than this so among this which is the bigger option 7 so your answer is 27 So I do one more example so that you come to know. We will take one big example three three six four. Now I am writing this as three three six four. So bar on this. Now options for four is two two is a four, eight eight is a sixty four. So I don't know what is there. So I will write two or eight. Now thirty three. Thirty three comes between which perfect squares? It is 25 is less than 33 is less than 36. 25 means it comes 5 square is less than 33 is less than 6 square. So again the same logic. The tens place is already ready. Now what we will be doing is we will multiply by 5 its successor. So successor of 5 is 6. 5 6 are 30. Now please consider 33 and Which is the bigger option? 33. So which is the bigger option here? 8. So the square root of 3364 is 58. Now these were small numbers, so I will try to take a bigger number now. 12544. Now remember this is a five-digit number. Again the logic remains the same. 12544. So first a bar on two numbers, then we can take a bar on three numbers also. Now again, four means your options are two or eight. Now one twenty-five will lie between which two perfect squares? So it is one twenty-one is less than one twenty-five is less than one forty-four. So one twenty-one means eleven square is less than one twenty-five is less than twelve square. So this part eleven is already ready. So this is the hundreds and the tens part is ready. We only have to find the units part. Now two or eight. So we will multiply eleven by twelve. So this becomes one, one twenty one, one thirty two. Now if we consider this and this, we will find that one twenty five is lesser than one thirty two. So the smaller option here is two. So we will write this as. 1 1 2 so the square root of 125 44 is 1 1 2 so i hope you understood all these three methods now we will go for cube roots so what do you mean by cube root so what is a cube cube is a number which is obtained when you multiply the same number three times so 
a into a into a means so this is a perfect cube a into a into a means a cube now if i want to find the cube root of a cube it will be a this is cube root of a now how to find the cube roots now cube roots are little we feel that the numbers are big but if you use the trick which i am going to teach you things will become very easy so finding cube roots by trick method so here what we do is before going for this finding cube roots we will write the cubes and the the numbers and its cubes so we will write numbers and cubes now we will write all the cubes till 10 1 cube means 1 2 cube means 8 3 cubes means 27 4 cube means 64 5 cube means 125 6 cube means 216 7 cube means 343 8 cube means 512 9 cube means 729 10 cube means 1000 now if you see here there are some specific patterns kindly observe if the cube ends in the number is if the cube ends in 1 the digit also the cube root also ends in 1 this is one case second is this one if the cube ends in 4, the units place also ends in 4, second, third is if the cube is ending in 5, the cube root also ends in 5, fourth is if the cube ends in 6, the cube root also ends in 6, fifth is if the cube ends in 9, the cube root also ends in 9, I am talking only of perfect cubes and here if the cubes end in 10, then this also ends in now it means there are two opposing pairs or we can say alternate pairs so this is known as an alternate pair and this is also known as an alternate pair now what do you mean by alternate pairs so i am writing here alternate pairs so what do you mean by alternate pairs is if you are having if the cube root if the cube ends in so the cube root ends in okay now see this carefully if the cube ends in 8 the cube root ends in 2 and if the cube ends in 2 the cube root ends in 8 so this becomes one pair similarly see here if the cube ends in 7 the cube root ends in 3 and if the cube root ends in 3 the cube root ends in 7 so this is your second pair these pairs are known as alternate pairs or opposing pairs we have to remember this whenever we are doing the trick pattern so what i will do is i'll keep this on the board and we will find cube roots of some big numbers using the trick method so finding cube roots so what we do is i will take the first as cube root of 1728 now see 1728 like we put a bar on two digits in the square root we have to put a bar on three digits here now what is the combination now just remember that if the cube is ending in eight what will be the combination it will cube root will end in 2 now 1 now 1 lies between 1 cube and 2 cube so the cube root we have to take always the lower option so the cube root of 1728 is nothing but 12 now we will take a bigger number i am taking a big number say it is 5 8 3 2 now i will write this as 5 8 3 2 putting a power of 3 numbers and one digit 
Now remember the trick which I told you. If the cube ends in eight, the cube root will end in two. Easy. Now we have to find between which two perfect cubes five will lie. So it is one is less than is less than eight. So this is nothing is one cube is less than five is less than cube two cube. So we have to take the lower option. So eighteen is a cube. If you memorize this, study this, and practice this, I am sure you are going to find cube roots in maximum of five seconds. Remember, this will be very useful when you will be doing surface areas and volumes. Many times you have to find the radius r cube. This is where we get those tricks. Thank you.